guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be episode 3 in a mini-series I started called, I believe this is episode 3, it might be 4, I think it's 3, um, in a mini-series I started called Dissecting the Lyrics and it's just about where I I go through and I get to have more, like a more personal connection with you on what each song was about and kind of what I was going through when I wrote it um, and like kind of what each lyric means because some of my songs tend to be pretty poetic so um, we're just going to dive right into it. This month, this song is going to be Casa de Luz because in the last video that's what you guys wanted to see, so that's what you get to see. is a very very special song to me because this is back when I had an idea of writing a Eliza Grace acoustic EP which then turned into additional acoustic songs on the record Wormwood but it started out as a, an acoustic EP and Casa de Luz was going to be the first song on that. Casa de Luz was written actually about the first house that I stayed at there like the first one that I really felt a connection in um, and I lived there for almost a year and it was this beautiful place in Highland Park, California. And Highland Park is like this, it's next to Pasadena, but it's like, there was like some high crime in Highland Park for a long time, like maybe 20 years ago. It was like a lot of gang violence there and stuff. And it's this heavily Hispanic neighborhood. And I, I loved that about Highland Park, of being like heavily Hispanic because it was very like family oriented and, um, it's not so dangerous there anymore, and it's like kind of an up-and-coming area now, but... So what had happened was I had started working this job um, on Sunset Boulevard as a barista, and at the time I met probably one of, my, one of the first people I ever met in Los Angeles, and his name was Johnny, and we, um, we ended up spending the day together, and he, was t he kept talking about his house. He says, you never grow old there, and I didn't know what that meant at the time, but... It later became this house that I moved into, um, and it was probably my first really good experience when I moved out there, and I just remember it was magical, and to this day it's the most beautiful place I've ever been to. Highland Park, California is amazing. They called our house the Casa de Luz, and it meant lighthouse. So that's what I wrote the song about, and that's why it's called Casa de Luz. I'm gonna start with the first verse. I close my eyes and jump the fence and say they let me in. The sky is dark but the night is lit with the lights from Highland. The day that we spent together and we went to the house and I saw it for the first time, um, we also ended up going to our friend's show that night at this venue called the Hi-Hat. And I was not on the list to go, so I ended up sneaking into the venue which is, I closed my eyes and jumped the fence. I didn't actually jump a fence, it's like a metaphorical fence, but I made it into the venue that night and said they let me in. Um, and then it says, the sky is dark, but the night is lit with the lights from Highland. And Highland Park, California is like, there's just mountains everywhere at night and the houses are like built into the sides of the mountains. I swear, like maybe I've just romanticized it in my head, but that's what I remember it as. And um, at night, it was like, you couldn't, you could barely see the difference between the mountains and the sky. Like you could see the silhouette of the mountains, but it was like dark, and even darker, and then all of these lights that lit up what to me looked like the sky. So the sky is dark, but the night is lit with the lights from Highland. I pull apart my eyelids in the back of a passion pit. It's just like I like being wide-eyed. And like a passion pit is what it sounds like to me, you know, a passion pit is just like something that you're very passionate about. So I was just like wide-eyed in this you know, first time experience that I was having. Pray it says I promise and say I'm gonna get a tattoo for this. It's just hoping this lasts forever. And, you know, for me, like when I get tattoos, it's something that like I heavily want to be in my life forever or like a special moment. And just like knowing at that moment that I was gonna remember this forever. In the place of tiny footsteps where we The 
focus is when all the lights are out in the city or town, we'll take all the right pieces and point them up. In the place of tiny footsteps where we never grow old, oh, that day felt like a story. When the lights are out in the city or town is just pretty self-explanatory. Highland Park was a city, but it felt like such a small town. It was very inviting, community-oriented. And then the in the place of tiny footsteps where we never grow old is just talking about the house. You know, that's what that's what my friend Johnny always referred to it as when we when I first got introduced to the house and the people that were in it. So it's just kind of how it stays in my head, like just kind of how the memory lasts. So the place of tiny footsteps is like the place where people don't grow up. Tiny footsteps as in children also, by the way. <laughs> Next verse, verse two is, Boulevards of acoustic guitars and all of our dreams collide. The sky is dark, but the night is lit with the X's on the back of my hands. Which is probably my favorite line in the whole song about the X's on the back of your hands. Boulevards of acoustic guitars and all of our dreams collide is just talking about being kind of like fantastical, feeling kind of enamored about something. The sky is dark, but the night is lit with the X's on the back of my hands is when I went to the venue, I had to get X's on the back of my hands because I wasn't 21 when I lived there, I was 18. The X's on the back of your hands is also talking about the youth, because that's the next verse, is the youth of us is dangerous if we become a passion pit. Like, So if you collectively get a bunch of people together who feels who feels the way I did when I was writing it, then like that's a dangerous feeling because it's so powerful. Um, and then it says, pray it stays, I promise and say, I'm gonna get a tattoo for this. And then it goes back into the chorus. So yeah, this song was, um, it's it's such a vivid memory of writing it because we, it was the coolest house. Like I'm gonna try and insert some photos in this video somewhere so that if I haven't already, so that you can see what it was like. But it was like, it was this house of, this big pink house in Highland Park, 13 people lived in it. And there were like 13 bedrooms, it was huge, and I lived in this little shoe box of a room at the time. Um, but it never rained in California, so we had this terrace, and we kept beds out there, and you just went and like slept on the roof, like, and just looked out at Highland Park, which was just these, the silhouette of a mountain with like lights on the mountain and then stars above it, and um, that was just so beautiful. And I'm going to try and insert some photos so you guys can see it too, but that's what Casa de Luz is about. Casa de Luz is actually the name of a house that I lived in at one point. Um, and it's, I would, I would love to move back to Highland Park. It's very close to my heart, and that song is. So, it does have a lyric video, so if you guys want to watch the lyric video, I'm going to put that at the end of this video, um, and also in the description box. So, comment below on what song you guys want me to dissect next, and, um, Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.